Don't, don't do that shit. Please don't do that shit because you're not Lionel Messi. We will Yo guys, what is up? It is Rams1305. I'm back for another YouTube video. And this guys, um, I'm going to be talking about the um, Sweden, well, yeah, Sweden versus England game. I mean, what a game! Like, like I was expecting quite a tough game, even sides probably win one or two nil. Um, Sweden did do well. I, I, I got hand to them. They did play well. So, out there, if there's any Swedish fans watching out there, I, I don't think there is. But if you are watching, then fair play, well done. You gave us a good game, but unfortunately, we had too much quality on you on the day. And I'm not, I'm not saying that's a dig. I'm saying that. As fact, I'm not saying as a dig because either these teams could have gone through, and it all depends on who has the better players and who can last 90 minutes. And it it, it comes down to England. Um, on the day, we we're just more crucial. We we're looking to get short ch chances. Um, obviously, I was at my mate's house watching this, Liam Brady. So shout out to you, mate. Um, <laughs> I don't know if he's going to see this, but if he does, then hello. I'm sorry, I'm sweating a bit, guys. It's it's quite hot in Britain, and obviously I've got my light on. Yeah, um, we're in the semis now. Um, but let's talk about the goals first, before we jump into the semis, because I know who's already that, or who it already is. Um, the first goal... Who was the first goal by? Maguire, that's it. A lovely cross in the box. I think that was from, I think that was from young side. Um, Kane said, you know, push in front of me because they won't be marking as much because they are more crucial. And Kane's, quite, Harry Kane's quite smart for doing that. So, and then Maguire's like, okay, I'll take the chance. So he gets himself ready. Boom! Nice header, 1 0. At this point, I'm like, okay, okay, I start to believe. I am starting to believe we are going to make it to the semis. Um, the next game, what, well, for the next. Half it was just a bit boring. There's a lot of good play from Trippier and Young on the wings. Um, Henson made a few a few good passes. Kane was trying it in the box, but obviously the Swedish players know how dangerous he is, so they're marking him out of the game, um, which they did. Sterling, he had I think two good chances to score. He tried to be Lionel Messi and just do the you know try to go around the keeper and the score. Sterling. Here's, here's a, if you watch this, I don't think you will because I'm irrelevant and I'm not a big channel and my opinion doesn't really matter to you. But if you do watch this, I, I, I don't know why you'd be watching me, okay? But if you do watch this, don't, don't do that shit. Please don't do that shit because you're not Lionel Messi, okay? You're not Lionel Messi. So don't act like Lionel Messi, okay? You, you say you're a good player, but all you've been doing this time is fucking sprinting in and not getting to the ball. And I can stand the whole young you situation, you know, couldn't decide who should get the ball. That's fine, I can understand that. But my problem is with you, you don't take the opportunities you have. We, like, you get like about, what, six, seven, eight chances a game, and you don't take the chances crucially. What are you doing? I'm sorry. But someone like Kane, if it came in your position, he would have, he would have chipped that, and it would have been three 0 not two 0 So get your head together and learn to fucking shoot. Okay, I know you're small, but you've got pace. That's what you got. Just don't. If you can't shoot, pass it to Kane. Pass it to Ali. They can shoot. Okay, if you can't shoot, give it to them. I don't know. I'm, I'm wanting on a bit, but you can't shoot, mate. You can't shoot for shit, okay? Because you're not a striker. And I understand that. You're not a striker. You're a winger. And we don't play wingers. So, obviously, it's going to be hard for you to, st to strike. But then, just say, don't don't put me up front. Put Ali up front. Because Ali, he has played up front before. Well, he hasn't really played up front. But he's played centre forward. Put uh, Southgate, please, to switch around. Just switch um, Sterling and Ali. Okay? If it's, Even if Southgate does watch this, I don't know. But just switch them too round. It's not that hard. I know, you know, Ali has five problems, yeah? But he can actually shoot goals. He can actually get headers. He can, he, he would have taken the opportunity perfectly. Chip it, 3-0, 4-0. And it's just, ah. Uh, that wasn't, this wasn't even meant to be a one. I'm actually happy. It's just, uh, 
the disappointment I saw in Sterling today, I think it's, I swear Sterling's been so disappointing this World Cup. Coming into it, on fire, scoring goals for Galore, winning the League of City. And I was like, all right, okay, we've got someone who's got winning mentality. Let's go and put Sterling up front with Kane and everything will be great. Yeah, didn't really go well. And I mean, Southgate, you need to... I know you want to play Ali and I know when you play Sterling, just switch two positions around, I'd say. Put Sterling in the midfield. And put him on the put him on the white. Put Lingard on the uh, well, yeah. Put Lingard on the left. Put um, Sterling on the white because they can then play as wingers and also come in the inside and then you know Henderson just holding back that defence. And if you're going to take off Lingard or Sterling, you can then bring in Dyer and he can play like that third choice centre back. So then Trip Young, you can, which you can also woes for I don't know for Henderson like that. And then you put, um, you could sub off Henderson for uh, Danny Woes, push Rick Young and Trippier as wingers, but then they can also come back in defence. I mean, that's that's how I do it, but I'm I'm not England manager. But these pl these players are well drilled, and this guy, Southgate, I've. I slated him when he joined. I was like, he's a shit manager. You know, he's not going to do any well. Look what he did in Middlesbrough. He's worked with the under-21s. You know, he's not going to be able to cope with it. And, th and this is at a point where we announced him, I think, after the Euros. And I was quite pissed off of the performance he put with Iceland. So I was just fucking wanting. Uh, this was on a video. I wish I did make that video back in 2016. But I didn't. I was literally pissed. I destroyed a cup. I literally destroyed two cups, guys. There were two glass cups. I smashed... Um, I'll show you. It's sort of like it's not. It's quite smaller to this. But I'll show you. It was much smaller than this. I say it was probably up to maybe there. I think something like that. Like a little like not. It's not that. Wouldn't be that big, but it's quite small. It, if, you, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, maybe I could. Uh, you know what? I'll show you. Hold on. I think I can show you. I think it's, it was like these glasses, but they're a bit bigger. Like one of those glasses. In that you think that's big? It's not really. Look, it's a bit bigger than that. Uh, I should try two glasses. Oh, let me just get this camera. Cause I'm leaning against it and I've got a tripod. Um, but yeah, I smashed two of the glasses. Got in trouble for it. <laughs> Which is not great. Um, yeah. But back to the game. And then uh, we go to Ali. Back post. Um, they're about to be, I think it was Trippier at the time, I think it was. Or was it Lingard? One or two, I can't remember who. Had a nice view crossing. Thought uh, I think actually no, I think it was Lingard. By the way, I think it was yeah. He did a lovely free ball. Well, yeah, I guess it was a free ball. To be fair, true to Ali. Ali got his not head on it. Boom, two 0 And at that point, I'm just singing. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. For both coming home. And uh, yeah, I went fully mental. <laughs> yeah. Um. But apart from that. Uh, we pulled into the lead. We brought more defenders. Um, we brought Dyer's player in the centre back because what you do when we're winning the game, we try and kill off. So we bring on mo mostly defensive players. So we took off Henderson for Dyer. Um, and then I think we put on Marcus. Did we put on Marcus? I think we did put on Marcus, yeah, for Sterling. Um, I think we should just put on more defenders, really. But when you're against a big team like that, if it was a bigger team, say like Croatia in the next game, I'm going to be talking about in a minute. You would want to put on more defenders. You want to hold that defence. You want to make sure no attacker is getting through there. So I would put on, take off Henderson for Rose, like I said. And then Dyer for Lingard or Sterling, one and two. Um, unless you want to put Washford on and take off Sterling for Washford and take off Lingard for Dyer. Um, but yeah. 2-0 win, happy, one goal in the semi. I've never been as proud about England, guys. In my 19, year, 19 years I've been alive, I've I've witnessed disappointment after disappointment. I've I've never seen any good from England. I've seen, as, as I told you, I've seen all the Euros, I've seen all the World Cups, and these are when I was a kid watching them. And I've witnessed a lot of disappointments. Um... Even we we didn't even qualify for the two thousand eight Euros, like McLaren did not get that team qualified. How the fuck do you not get that team qualified? Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah, oh, I I don't know. 
I was, I was so annoyed. I, was, I think I was like 9 or 10 years old when that didn't happen. I was bursting with tears. I was in tears. I think I was like 9, 10 years old. I was in... Wait, how old was I? No, yeah, no, I was 9 years old because that was in 2008. Yeah, and it's just 10 years on. So I'm 19. No, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was, was 19. Uh, I was 9 back then. So yeah, I was in tears when that happened. McLaren let me down big time. I've never forgotten. I never. I don't think any any England fans forgive the bloke. No, not even new God fans. Like literally, Rafa Benitez is telling me to get the fuck out before he fucking kills him. I think most 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 England fans agreed with fucking True Joy over there. So subscribe to him. Nice bloke. <laughs> um, but now we move on to face Croatia. And honestly, if you didn't watch that game, uh, Croatia um, beat. Russia on penalties. Uh, I think it was 4-3, I think it was. Um, uh, Mario Fernandez missed his penalty, and then the first guy missed his penalty. I can't I don't, I don't know Russian players, so. Um, but yeah, we um, we managed to beat them. Uh, well, they managed to beat them, we didn't beat them. But uh, Croatia managed to beat them, and they're back now in the semi-finals with us. It's just not what I wanted, to be fair, but I'm happy. We're still in the semis finals. If you got into Croatia in the semis finals, I put my hands up. Say you're the bigger team. You did much. You did. You do much. You did much better than us on the day. Good luck in the final. Okay, that's what I'm gonna be admitting if we do lose. And I don't want to lose. Okay, I do not want to lose and get this final World Cup and lose. It is heartbreaking when you get this close. You get that close to the final, and then you lose. It is heartbreaking. No one understands how much heartbreak it is. Apart from me. Two semi-finals in the FA Cup. We come that close and we bottle it. Yeah. So I know what it's like getting so far to a tournament, to a final, and then you lose it. Like, I, I understand it because I'm a Spurs fan. I've seen two of them. Two! What, the match won the goal that happened uh, when they won the league. And then Man United... Who did not deserve to win that game. We should have smashed him. But this is not about Man United. This is about England. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you England fans here. And obviously the players, if you're listening. I don't think you will be. But bring it home. I'm not, and the fans, you probably want to listen to this as well. We need to bring this home. Okay? We need to bring this home. Because if we don't, I'm telling you. Southgate, please... I just want. I want to see. I just want to see myself win a trophy, okay? Because I might not. <laughs> I may not be able to see it with Spurs. So if this is the World Cup, please just. My lip. Unless I got a busted lip on. Got lipstick on. It's not, guys. It's just my lips are extremely red. And I. It looks. It looks like a wearing lipstick, but I'm not. I swear to God, I'm not gay. Uh, I'm. I've not even been gay people, but I'm. I'm just. That's not me, so... If, if it looks like my lipstick, I'm sorry. Uh, but I don't know what I'm talking about that. Anyway. So, okay, please just bring this home. If you do, I'll get my face tattooed on your back. And that is a promise. I will... No, it won't be a massive tattoo. I mean, I, I'm 19. My mum mum would kill me if I just had a massive tattoo with a girl and so get on my back. Uh, it'd probably be just about maybe here somewhere. Just him holding the World Cup. Um, or just him doing that, I don't know. One to two, but if you do, if you do win the World Cup for England, I will do that. I will do that, and that is a promise. I was, I just need to get the money for that though, because I know tattoos are expensive. Um, but I did see, I did see Kyle Walker pay for someone else's tattoo. So, you know, Walker, could you let me? Can you pay for my tattoo? I don't know. I mean, if you do that, that'd be great. Um, I'd, I'd like to see that. Well, if it's not Southgate. If it depends who scores the winning goal, really. If we do get to the final, it could be Kane, it could be Ali, or it could get Southgate. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe Kane because uh, if he if he does leave Spurs, he does leave Spurs, and at least I still got a memory of him lifting the World Cup. Because I'm that, I'm gonna want I'm gonna want a, a memory for that. So when I die, I can look at him and be like, I remember that year we won the World Cup. I want I just want a memory for now. So final tattoo or. Either the winner of the World Cup or Southgate, one of the two. So yeah, uh, but that the what do we do? We talk about Croatia. I think we did a bit. 
but Croatia looked quite um, frightening on the night. Um, the set of the defending was quite sloppy. Um, you know, they let in two goals against, like, the keeper didn't save either of them, to be fair. Uh, Subotic looked like he had a, um, a hamstring problem. Uh, I don't know how that's going to affect him, but if it's going to affect his game, it could it could be out, because I know hamstring injuries are like six weeks, I think, something like that. So, he better be fit by the time he comes to the England game, because that is a crucial game. And if you're having your best keep out, that's going to be a massive blow. Um, what have we got? The right back, uh, uh, I can't say his name. Just I just put a V because that's his start. That's part of his name. V. Um, he went down the wing and I looked like he got cramp problems or something, or maybe he had something wrong with his fight. I don't know. Um, he looks like he might not play. Uh, I hope he does. We just need most that Croatian team out. I mean, obviously Modric and Rakitic are going to be in there with Brozovic and Kovacic, Mansukic. I just hate saying these itches are so annoying, but yeah. Um, Henderson, I'm doing you one favour. Do me one favour. Break Luka Modric's fucking leg. Break his fucking leg. Please. Break that cunt's leg. I know he's an expert for that, but please break that cunt's leg. Okay, because then if you break his leg, his path will be fucked up and we can stop the midfield. Because he's, that's the thing that's pushing pushing Croatia forward. His passing is unstoppable. So please, fucking, break his leg. I'm going mental here. I just spat everywhere, Jesus Christ. But, yeah, just break his leg. Thank you. Or Dyer, or Stones, or Walker, or Maguire. And just somebody break his leg, please. Please. Um, anyway, I'm getting way too far gone, but, um, yeah, semi-final, can I, do we, do I think we could beat Croatia? I don't know, it's 50-50, because Croatia are a good side, but the best thing about this, Washington fans are now going to be supporting England, because they want us to do well, well, they don't want us to do well, but, because since their home country's out, they're going to be supporting England. Most of those Washington fans are going to be out there supporting England and sending the abuse to Croatia for knocking them out. Okay, because whoever was going to... Whoever knocks out Russia, because eventually they weren't going to get to the final. Let's understand that now. They weren't never going to get to a final. Okay, it's in their home country. I understand, you know, their home country, they want to win the World Cup. I can understand that. But they won't get that far because they're not that great. Their defence is quite old. I think the guard, was, the guard the defender was like 39. They came out of retirement because there was two... Problems with defenders, uh, and there was like too many injuries in the centre back role, and it's just he came in to help out. Uh, so, Russian fans, any other any, any other fan around the world that was in the World Cup, come support England. We need all the help we can get to support England, because we haven't been to a World Cup since 1966. So, if there's any fans out there that have not supported a team at the World Cup, support England. Support England. Help us get to a final. And did that World Cup be lifted not just for the English fans, not for the English players, but for everyone out there supporting us? That'll be to you. People like, uh, if, you have, if, I don't know, if you have Poland fans watching us, probably not Germany because they'll think, they're, they're thinking, oh, we're fucking cunts. Um, but anyway, basically, not the top five teams. And so, oh, maybe so Italy, Spain, Germany. Uh, who else do we have? Portugal. You know, all the big teams won't be supporting us. But the other teams in the World Cup, people like Poland. Uh, I'm not saying they're a little team, but... You know, I'm just saying. Any team that got knocked out in the group stage, in the last 16, or the quarterfinals, come support us. I know Colombia won't, because I think we're cunts. And Sweden fans, I don't know. Maybe they might support us, I don't know. Um, I hope they do. But if they don't, then, oh well. Um, but just, everyone support England, please. Just... Please, I just, I just want, I would want this World Cup to be memorable for mostly England fans. I want the England fans to go, go to as well, go to World Cup final, be happy and try and win it. And Southgate has got these boys well drilled together, so I think with his knowledge of the game, because he's been there, he's been in that situation um, with these boys. It's like Gal Gal Southgate's dead dad, okay, and they want to please him. 
that's that's what they want to do. They want to please him every time. So they'll be going at games. And Maguire's done well. Pickford's done well. Kane's done well. Ali's done well. Yeah, so it's not great. But anyway, oh shit. Sorry, guys. Oh god, I'm making a video. Sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm gonna call him back in a minute. Uh, but that's the end of this video guys, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, make sure you smash the like button, it's getting about 25 likes, no, 66 likes, oh, sorry dad, uh, <laughs> but let's get 66 likes on this, because, you know, the World Cup, and, uh, yeah, I'm out, peace, thanks for watching, goodbye. <laughs>